Hey guys, what's up with it? We banging some legs today. You know, a lot of boys, I evidently they ain't seen my viral leg videos in the past. So, you know, I get thousands of new people a day on all my social media. So it's time to do a leg video. So I can shut y'all up. You know what I'm saying? Since y'all worried about another man's body part so much, I'm going to fulfill this for you. And for Team Hyphy, I'm going to show y'all how to get big legs without damaging yourself. And that's what this video today is based on. Build your foundation. Don't damage or harm your foundation. If you're doing legs and your fucking knees aching and your know, hips hurting and you, after you do legs, you can't do nothing the rest of the day because you tapped into your natural, central nervous system. That's not what the health and fitness and bodybuilding is about. You see what I'm talking about? I'm trying to get you out of game. You don't have to try to go too heavy, one or two reps, fucking up your central nervous system, and you're tired the rest of the day, take you two days to recover. It ain't about that. I thought so for years myself. My legs didn't grow until I dropped the weight, start going high reps. When you look at speed skaters, the guys that speed skate, big quads, right? Bikers, big quads, big calves, they don't do no weight. But they're getting a lot of repetition, pumping a lot of blood in the muscle. 100 yard dashers, quads. Come on, it's, it's science, man. And, you know, a lot of people with this fitness shit hurting themselves. I seen guys on Facebook get surgeries, hurt themselves. For what? It ain't even billions of dollars. It is not billions of dollars competing in bodybuilding. And true bodybuilders know they don't have to kill themselves like a lot of doobies do. So we're going to get to these calves, quads, hams, and yeah, we about to bang these legs, boy, let's bang them. My calves didn't grow until I dropped the weight. I see the video with Eric Frankenheiser. IFBB pro with the biggest calves I've ever known to man. And he was doing 50 reps a set. And he already had big calves. He didn't even need to do calves. So I tried, let me try what Eric Frankenheiser do. Guess what? My fucking calves got enormous. All that black shit, black people can't get calves. Mexicans can't get calves. Asian, whatever race, can't get calves. You motherfucking lie. They got found my flaw, alert science. To fix it and bang them down. Look at them, boy. Median bang. Leg extensions. You don't have to do the stack, homie. It's no purpose. Just because it's a fucking stack, you don't have to do the stack. You want to pump blood into the quads. You don't want to fuck up your knee. That's why you got a lot of people that talk bad about leg extensions. Because too many people go too heavy. Trying to do the stack and strain. You shouldn't be straining at all on leg extension. Pump the fucking blood in there. How high as I go? I think that's on 70, 80. High reps, 20 reps. Watch, watch and learn, niggas and niggas. Wiggas and niggas. squat and uh not a, not heavy weight because you're gonna be straight in to fuck up some pumping y'all gonna see i might only go 145 or 245 on each side Don't believe everything you hear on the internet. Don't get into this gossip shit. Cause there's a low representation of what real men are on social media. It's only a few. 
when you got guys that's gossiping like women about what they heard from some other social media platform or and they acting like it's truth those are called pussy men yeah and bad will happen to them for doing the devil's work and I'm going to do God's work and build this foundation yeah, my set But I don't give a fuck Cause guess what I'ma get so buff Keep pissing you fuck boy Off in summer 2017 Because I love the green You get it? Green Fat back Money sacks Guap Yeah! Fuck boys can't stop it They mad Jack They mad on the internet A black ex high making buddy they mad. They trying to defame me. They trying to hurt my business. But people know real. People know organic. You know what I'm saying? I'm the only fitness motherfucker that wrote an autobiography about my life. You can't defame me. I already told. I did everything d body there was to do. And guess what? The Lord has forsaken me and removed all my sins and made me a pillar for the world to show that you guys can make it no matter what. Huh. Why those boys trying to act like the devil and do the devil work. They doing what they, uh, uh, them people did to Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Jesus was the perfect man. And look what they did to him. What you think they going to try to do to me then? And I expect it. And I'm ready for it. Yeah! Just like when I played in the fraternity, I was the rock. When them suckers could take their ass whooping, I jumped in to take it forward. And everybody keep asking me what that is on my R. It's called a college fraternity branding, you dumb motherfuckers. That act so smart, don't know what that is. Did you get shot? Did you get stabbed? It's a fucking college fraternity brand, motherfucker. So with that, that was Lay Day High Reps Puppet, constant tension. I thank y'all for watching. Share this, share it to your mommy, your godmama, your great grandfather, your cousin-in-law, your sister-in-law, your fake auntie, your fake cousin, your fake god cousin, your auntie that one out the street is hella fat, show it to her so she get motivated. And with that, I love those who love me. Team Hyphy, we got to annihilate all the tap pop boys for summer 2017. If you mad at me and my big ass quads, hamstrings, and calves, you! Old school, old school, cabbage patch. Oh man! Water!
watermelon. Kiwi. Let's get hyping, baby. Order yours now.